Question number 6. The straight line L passes through the points with coordinates minus 5, 3, 6 and 5, 8, 1. The plane P has equation 2x minus y plus 4z is equal to 9. For the first part, find the coordinates of the point of intersection of line L and P, I mean with P. Second part, find the acute angle between L and P. Alright, vectors. Okay. So here we are. This is the point A, point B, and that's the line L. It intersects the plane P, and the plane has uh, equation as given in the question 2x um, minus y plus 4z is equal to 9. Okay, now if we need to find the point of intersection, we need to get the equation of this line. To be able to get the equation of this line, we're going to find the vector AB first. We know by geometry, by definition of geometry, that AB is equal to AO plus OB. And what is AO? We have OA minus 5, 3, 6. Therefore, I mean OA, I mean AO, then it's going to be the negative of that. 5 minus 3, 6 plus um, B, which is uh, 5, 8, 1. And then you do the summing up, you're going to end up with 10, 5, and... Um, that should be minus 6, yeah. Minus 6 plus 1 is minus 5. Alright, so how are we going to find the vector equation of line AB then? Okay, so the vector equation of line AB. Alright, vector equation of line AB or line L is going to be the point uh, minus 5, 3, 6 plus let us say t times the vector ab, which is 10, 5, minus 5. And that's going to give us um, minus 5 plus 10t. Then we have 3 plus 5t. And also we have 6 plus minus, becomes minus 6 minus 5t. Now, uh, our aim is to be able to find t. So, what equation do you have? I mean, you do have 2x minus y plus 4z. 2x minus y plus 4z is equal to 9. 2 times x, so 2 times uh, minus 5 plus 10t. This is x, okay. Minus 5 plus 10t. Minus y, minus uh, y is 3 plus 5t. Then you plus 4z, that is 4 times 6 minus 5t, and all of that's going to be 9. Minus 2 times 5 is minus 10, minus 3 times 1 is minus 3, 4 times 6 is 24. 2 times uh, 10 is plus 20, and we have t with it. Minus 5 times t is minus 5t, 4 times minus 5t is minus 20t, and all of that's going to be equal to 1. Plus 20, minus 20 cancels out. Minus 3 minus, minus 3 minus 10 plus 24 is basically um, 11 and you have minus 5t is equal to 9. Solving that equation, t is going to be 2 over 5. Therefore now we just need to find the point of intersection. We can work that out as follows. Okay, we have minus 5, so we get to say, we're going to say minus 5 plus 10 times t, and t is 2 over 5, 10 times 2 over 5. Okay, and then you got 3 minus 5 times 2 over 5, and you got 6 minus 5 times 2 over 5. Okay, so 2 over 5 times 10 is 4, okay, and then we got... Um, this is uh, minus 5, so minus 5. So we have minus 5 then, plus 4. And here, 1, 1, 5 goes in 5 is 1, 2, 3 minus 1, 3 minus 2. Okay, 5, 5 goes out, you got 6 minus 2. And that's going to give us 5 minus 1 is minus 1. Minus 5 plus 4 is minus 1. 3 minus 2 is um, 3 minus 2, isn't it? Yeah, no, sorry, 3 plus 2, okay, plus 5 here, plus, plus, and that's going to give us 5, 
I've got 6 minus 2 is 4 and here is the point of intersection this is your answer for the first part for the second part we need to find the acute angle between the plane and the line okay for the acute angle between the plane and the line acute angle between line L and plane okay remember we have uh, the vector equation okay of the line uh, vector equation of line, of line L was uh, 10 mi 5 minus 5 so we're going to be using that so 10 5 minus 5 acute angle um, maybe we can say cos of theta is going to be the acute angle times um, the direction vector or the normal to the plane the plane has equation has given the question 2x minus y and 4 so 2 minus 1 4 I got 2 minus 1 4 and then divided by the square root of all of that the sum of 10 to the square plus 5 to the square plus uh, no need to put minus 5, you can put 5 because that's going to end up as 5 anyway because you're squaring the number times uh, 2 to the square plus minus 1 to the square plus 4 to the square and all of that's going to, if you work this out in your calculator but before you work it out in your calculator you should be able to know how to do this one 10 times 2 is 20 5 times minus 1 is minus 5 minus 5 times 4 is minus 20, 20 minus 20 is 0, minus 5 time one, times 1 is minus 5 divided by the square root of 150 times the square root of uh, 24 5, 5 plus 16 is 21, so 21 and that's going to give you 0 0.0891 if you're looking for the acute angle maybe instead of cos you can say probably sine inverse of this of 0 0.0891 and if we check it out on your calculator let me just come in here oh sorry about that calculator so inverse sine of um, 0 0.0891 going to give you five degrees but remember this is minus however if you take the sign of it to take the positive and because that's the uh, the other side of the uh, of the angle all right so here we're going to end up with 5.1 degrees if you had worked this on this one out of your calculator what would it have been inverse cos of minus uh, 0 0.08891 uh, okay and oh yeah 95.1 as you can see so otherwise that would have given us 95.1 1 and so on therefore you could have said for the acute angle it's going to be this minus 90 degrees and you're going to end up with 95.111 1 minus uh, 90 and that's going to give you 5.1 degrees similarly with a sign you're getting this and therefore this is your acute angle two ways of getting this anyway here is uh, the answer to this question it was question number six taken from october 2010 higher school certificate uh, paper a level